Ahoy there, shipmates. It's Captain Sea Salt here. Today, we're going to be exploring a new island and learning all about things that start with the letter U. Keep a lookout for unicorn, urchins, ukulele, and umbrella bird. Up to the challenge. <laughs> Time to start the show. All aboard! Anyone uh, care to untie me? Utmost speed, mateys! Where are we, Captain Sea Salt? We've arrived at an unfamiliar new island. Unbelievable! Are we going to explore the island to uncover the treasure? Undoubtedly. Up and at him! Rather. <laughs> Down and at him. All righty. Everyone ready for the ultimate pirate adventure? Aye, aye, aye Captain! Today we are going to explore U Island. We are here on the map. If we follow all the clues on the map, they'll lead us to the treasure. The first thing we're looking for is something that starts with the letter U. What? Unbelievable! What is it, Maya? It's a unicorn, Pedro! No way! Unicorns are one-horned horses that are only found in fairy tales. Are you sure? Because there's one standing right here on this island. How unexpected! Well, unicorn does start with the letter U, and it is the first clue on our map. This is unreal! Hello there. You are such a beautiful and rare creature. May I call you Unique? Unique the Unicorn? <laughs> Unique, we're looking for a hidden treasure. Would you be able to help us uncover it? <laughs> Come on, let's follow her. Thank you, Unique. So, where are we? Is this where the next clue is? Maybe. Hey, what are those purple spiky things? Why, they be urchins. Sea urchins are tiny animals that live on the ocean floor. They're fond of eating algae. What unusual creatures. Toodaloo! Good news! Those urchins were the next clue on our map. Are then, where to now? Hey, check out what I found! Make haste! We're underway, Sammy! Neat! What is that? It's a ukulele! It's a musical instrument! You play it! Like this. Nice! It has an unmistakable sound. You're uncommonly good, Sammy. <laughs> Welcome to Sammy's hat. Uh, who are you? Methinks this birdie likes the sound of your strumming. What kind of bird is he? And what is that thing on his head? It's an umbrella bird, Ellie. They're found in the rainforest. The feathers on their head look like an umbrella, which is how they got their name. I'm gonna call him Umberto the Umbrella Bird. Umberto's unlike any bird I've ever seen. The Umbrella Bird is the last clue on our map. Then the treasure must be nearby. Well, this rain is utterly unexpected. What are we going to do? We need to get under something. Follow Umberto! Try! 
treasure! Ready for the unveiling? Umbrellas! How useful! Arr, arr, arr! Now we can get back to the ship without getting soaked! What an unpredictable adventure! Many thanks for helping us unearth this urgently needed treasure, Umberto. What a unique adventure! And a good thing we unearthed those umbrellas. Did you catch all the things that start with the letter U? Great! Let's see if you can spot the other U words found on U Island. Is that bicycle missing a wheel? <laughs> nope, it's a unicycle. A unicycle has just one wheel that some folks can balance on. Others can even juggle while riding a unicycle. Unbelievable! While that may look like an ordinary cake with fruit on top, did you know it was made upside down? Upside down cake is made by placing chopped or sliced fruits on the bottom of the pan and pouring the cake batter on top. After it's baked into a cake, it gets flipped to be right side up, so the batter goes back underneath. Those are utensils. Utensils are small tools that help us eat without having to use our hands directly on our food. Utensils include forks, spoons, and knives. Playing dress up with that uniform? <laughs> a uniform is a type of clothing that lets people understand that you are part of a group or profession. It can be anything from a school uniform to a police uniform, <laughs> unless you're with the undercover police. <laughs> it's an umpire. Umpires are sports officials in the game of baseball. They keep an eye on the ball and make the final call. Strike three, you're out! You did it, shipmates. You found everything that starts with the letter U. You are the ultimate uncoverers. And I hope to see you on the next island we land upon. Until then, have an unparalleled day. Ahoy there, shipmates! It's Captain Sea Salt here. Today, we're going to be exploring a new island and learning all about things that start with the letter V. Keep a lookout for Vulture, Violets, and Vampire Bat. Stay vigilant, and you will have a victory. Whoop! Time to start the show! All aboard! Where are we, Captain Sea Salt? We've voyaged to a vast new island, Maya. Let's enjoy this vacation. Very cool! What a great view! Are we going to explore the island and search for the treasure? Verily! That means yes, certainly, Ellie! Impressive! Now, are we ready to vacate the ship and go on an adventure? Aye, aye, Captain! Today we are going to explore V Island. We are here on the map. If we follow all the clues on the map, they'll lead us to the valuable treasure. The first thing we're looking for, Pedro, is something that starts with the letter V. Overhead! Wow! What is that? It's a vulture. Vultures are very big birds. 
They're scavengers, which means they eat various food items that have been left behind. He must have good eyes to see food from all the way up there. Maybe he has a view of the treasure. Excuse me, may I call you Vlad? Vlad the Vulture? Very good. We're looking for hidden treasure. Do you know which direction we should go? He's veering off that way. Come on, let's follow. Thanks for your help, Vlad. <laughs> hey, look at all these flowers. I wonder what they are. I know, violets. They're so vibrant. Violets are the next clue on our map. I wonder where we'll venture to next. Hey guys, look what I found over here. Who is that, Ellie? This is a vampire bat. <gasps> a vampire? Scary! Shh, don't worry, Sammy. They're not vicious, especially when they're sleeping, like this one. Sleeping? But it's the middle of the day. That's our nocturnal. That means they sleep during the day and are active at night. This bat doesn't know it, but I've named her Vanna. Vanna the Vampire Bat. Well, then let's leave so we don't wake her. Vanna the Vampire Bat is the very last clue on our map. The treasure must be in the vicinity. It is. Come on. Let's see what's inside. I hope it be something valuable. Hi, a variety of vegetables. Vegetables be vital for staying strong and healthy. I mean, they be fine for feasting. Mmm, I can virtually taste them. I have a feeling this treasure is going to vanish very quickly. Um, um. Sorry to vacate! On to our next venture! What a valuable adventure! And the vast variety of vegetables! Mmm! Did you catch all the things that start with the letter V? Great! Let's see if you can spot the other V words found on V Island. There's a very small friend. It's a vole. A vole is a small rodent with shorter and rounder features than a mouse. Though they live underground, voles are also very proficient swimmers. What's that you're holding? Why, it's a volleyball. Volleyballs are used in the team sport called volleyball. The goal is to get the ball over the net and to have it hit the opposing team's floor before they can volley it back. Oh, is there a sound more vibrant than that of a violin? A violin is a string instrument dating back to the 16th century. When a bow is drawn across the four strings, the violin makes divine sounds. <laughs> Smell that. It must be vinegar. Vinegar is a cooking ingredient that is used with many different foods, from fish and chips to rice and beans. Such a variety. If I had to choose my favorite ice cream flavor, I'd vote vanilla. Vanilla ice cream gets its flavor from the vanilla bean, which grows in pods on a plant called the vanilla orchid. You did it, shipmates. You found everything that starts with the letter V. 
You sure showed your vim and vigor. And I hope to see you on the next island we visit. Until then, I hope your days are filled with valuable thoughts. Ahoy there, shipmates. It's Captain Seasalt here. Today, we're going to be exploring a new island and learning all about things that start with the letter W. Keep a lookout for willow tree, watering hole, water buffalo, wildebeest, wallabies, wildflowers, walrus, and wagon. Whoa! Well, that took a while to word. Time to start watching. All aboard! Land ho! Gee, this wheel is wobbly. I'd be wise to have a wee peek at it. Land ho! Oh, another time! Ahoy, shipmates! We're at water's edge! Woof, woof. Where are we, Captain Seasalt? Welcome to a whimsical new island! Wow. wow! Are we going to explore the island and search for treasure? Why, we will, Maya! All ashore! Who wants to go ashore? Wonderful! Are we ready for an adventure? Aye, aye, aye Captain! <laughs> Today, we are going to explore W Island. This is where we're at on the map. If we follow all the clues on the map, they'll show us the way to the treasure. The first thing we're looking for, Pedro, is some kind of tree. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, Jimmy, you found a tree. I wonder if this is a tree we're looking for. Aye, it's a willow tree. And willow starts with the letter W. Without a doubt. A willow tree is the first clue on our map. Hey, guys, come see what we have found. What is this place, Sammy? It's a watering hole. <laughs> This is where all the animals on the island come for a drink of water. Yeah, look! There's a couple of water buffalo. Hi, Winona and Walter! And two wildebeest. Greetings, Lily and Wilhelmina! And some wallabies! Wanda and Wendy! Whoa! A watering hole is such a wet and wondrous place! Yeah, it's also a landmark on our map. I wonder where we wander next. Perhaps these wee widow wallabies can help. Ahoy there, Wanda and Wendy. We're searching for a hidden treasure. Would ye happen to know the way? Well, shiver me timbers. They do. Avast, whippersnappers. Why wait? Wanda and Wendy brought us to a field of wildflowers. <sighs> Smells wonderful. Indeed, Ellie. What are the odds the treasure is here? Not good. But this field of wildflowers is our next clue. So we're walking the right way. Thank you, Wanda and Wendy. We are forever grateful for your help. <laughs> Wowzers! That's Pepper! We'd better be off and see what he's wailing about. What's going on, Pepper? Why are you barking? Whoa, Pepper! You found a walrus! Walruses are large mammals that have flippers and tusks. I'm going to call you Walden. Walden the walrus. And he's waiting and making waves in a whirling whirlpool. Yeah. Try not to get too woozy from all that winding, Pepper. <laughs> uh, 
Arr, watch out! <laughs> You're getting us all wet. Mmm. Great job, Pepper. Yeah, you found our last clue. That means the treasure isn't that far away. Then we shall keep wending our way. That doesn't look like a treasure to me. Well, what is it? It's a wagon. In the old days, covered wagons were pulled by horses and used to carry things. Then maybe the treasure is inside the wagon. Whiz bang! It's here! We've made it to the treasure! Let's see what's inside. Wow. Well, well, the treasure is watermelon! Woo! What perfect timing for a snack. This wonderful way to end our adventure has made me hungry. Captain, I don't think our adventure is over just yet. Look! Arr, there's Wilma the whale. What's she saying? Arr, she's asking if we want a ride back to our ship. Really? Can we go? Well, why not? What a wondrous adventure! And that wealth of watermelon was a wicked win! Did you catch all the things that start with the letter W? Great! Let's see if you can spot the other W words found on W Island. Look who's wandering by the water! It's a warthog! A warthog is a wild pig with two pairs of tusks growing upwards from its mouth. <laughs> That's a wiggly bunch of worms if I ever seen one. Worms have no arms, legs, or eyes, but their skin is sensitive to changes in light, letting them know which way to wander. That's my wolf call. Wolves are canines found in the wild that live in packs. A nice, big, wonderful wolf family. Hear that tap, 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 tap? That be a woodpecker. Woodpeckers are birds that, like their name suggests, peck at wood. They drum into trees to find insects and tree sap behind the tree bark. Oh. Look at all the falling water. It be a waterfall. A waterfall is a natural ledge where streams and rivers have nowhere else to go but down. Whoosh. <laughs> you did it, shipmates. You found everything that starts with the letter W. Well done. And I hope to see you on the next island we wash ashore on. Until then, I hope your days are filled with wonder. Ahoy there, shipmates! It's Captain Seasalt here. Today, we're going to be exploring a new island and learning all about things that start with the letter X. Keep a lookout for Xerus, X-ray fish, xylophone, and Xantus hummingbird. Hope you're all excited. <laughs> Time to start the show! All aboard! Land ho! Fie! Remind me to never mix fish and milk in the same meal. I'm fixing to... Land ho! <laughs> Excellent! All hands on deck! Where are we, 
see Captain Seasalt? We've arrived at an extraordinary new island. Exciting! Are we going to explore the island and search for treasure? Exactly the plan, Pirate Maya. Make your exit, Ellie! Exceptional! Now, are we ready for an exciting expedition? Aye, aye, aye Captain! Today we are going to explore X Island. We are here on the map. If we follow all the clues on the map, they'll take us to the treasure. The first thing we're looking for is something that starts with the letter X. Hey, who's that over there? It's Azaris, an African ground squirrel. They live in burrows in the ground instead of trees. Zaris begins with the letter X. And it's the first clue on our map. Maybe he knows where the next clue is. Hello there. May I call you Xander? Xander the Zaris? Excellent. We're looking for a treasure. Would you happen to know the way? Let's follow him! Thank you for your help, Xander. The next clue must be nearby. Wow! Look! There! It's a fish, I think. It is! That's an x-ray fish. Its skin is transparent so you can see through it. Look at all its bones. It's like an x-ray that people get at the doctor's office. Cool. I'm gonna call him Xavier. Xavier the X-ray fish. X-ray fish is the next clue on our map. I wonder where we go next. Hmm. Hey! Oh, cool. Where is that music coming from? Only one way to find out. Hey, what is that, Sammy? It makes such amazing music. This is a musical instrument called a xylophone. You make sound by hitting these mallets against the wooden bars. As the bars get smaller, the sound gets higher in pitch, like this. What an expressive instrument. Arr. <laughs> xylophone is the next clue on our map. We must be close to the treasure now. Let's go that way! Hey, who's that? It's a kind of hummingbird called the Xantus hummingbird. They're known for their greenish coloring. Hey, you! May I call you Xena the Xantus Hummingbird? We're looking for a treasure. Do you know where we can find it? X marks the spot! It's the treasure! Let's examine its innards. Arr. Watermelons? Watermelon doesn't start with the letter X. It starts with W. Actually, Ellie, there's Zigwa, which is a kind of small watermelon. And Zigwa starts with the letter X. I don't care what size it is. I'm not exaggerating when I say it tastes exquisite. This whole expedition has exceeded my expectations. That was exactly the kind of adventure I've been looking for. And those Zigwa? You'll have to excuse the confusion. First time I've ever examined one. Hey, did you catch all the things that start with the letter X? Great. Let's see if you can spot the other X words found on X Island. Ah! 
An X-ray is a medical machine that lets us take a look inside our bodies to study our bones and to find out if any of them needs to be fixed. As all good pirates know, X marks the spot. An X is used to show us where, on a map, a treasure be. Often they're buried underground and need excavating at that exact spot. Now there be the greatest game of skill and smarts. It's X's and O's, also known as tic-tac-toe. X's and O's is a game for two people, each taking turns, trying to make a straight row of three X's or three O's. Oh, if that isn't the sweetest set of X's and O's, XOXO is used at the end of a written letter to a loved one to represent kisses and hugs from far away. You did it, shipmates. You found everything that starts with the letter X. Excellent work. And I hope to see you on the next island we explore. Until then, let us exit stage left. Ahoy there, shipmates! It's Captain Seasalt here. Today, we're going to be exploring a new island and learning all about things that start with the letter Y. Keep a lookout for yarn, yellow baboon, yak, yellow tail fish, and yellow throat. I just yearn to see it all. <laughs> Whoops! It's time to start the show! All aboard! Land ho! Yuck! Yuck! Oh, yuckity yuck! There's yucky yellow seaweed all over the wheel and the yard arms! Yuck! Whoa! <clears throat> Ahoy, mateys! We've landed! Where are we, Captain Sea Salt? We've journeyed to a brand new island! Yay! Are we going to explore the island and search for treasure? Why, yes, Miss Maya! <clears throat> you bet your barnacles we are! You up there, young one! Pirate Ellie! Yahoo! Are you all yearning for adventure? Yes, we are, Captain! Today we are going to explore Y Island. We are here on the map. If we follow all the clues on the map, they'll take us to the treasure. The first thing we're looking for is something that starts with the letter Y. Yikes! Wait, it's only a ball of yarn. Where on earth did this come from? Someone or something must have thrown it. <laughs> Who's that? I know. It's a kind of monkey called a yellow baboon. <laughs> he looks like he's having a real fun time with that yarn. <laughs> You're right, Pedro. And that yarn is yellow, just like the baboon. Yarn and yellow both begin with the letter Y. And they're the first clue on our map. Maybe the yellow baboon can tell us where the next clue is. Hello there. May I call you Yarek the yellow baboon? <laughs> yes! So, we're looking for a hidden treasure. Can you show us the way? <laughs> Let's follow him! Yonder we go! Thank you, Yarek. Now, where is that treasure? I see something! Wow! What an unusual looking creature! What kind of animal is it? Arr, that is a yak. Yaks are related to cows, but this animal has long, shaggy hair. Arr. Wow! 
Did you see that yawn? Are you tired, Miss Yak? May I call you Yasmin? Yasmin the Yak? Wait, Yasmin, where are you going? Are you leading us to the treasure? Shh, Sammy, let's not yell. Let's just follow her quietly, okay? I think this is as far as she's going to take us. Let's keep going. Thanks for your help, Yasmin. Yowzers! What's that over there? It looks like a bunch of fish. Yeah, it's a school of yellowtail fish. A school? Where are their books? Funny, Sammy, but it's not that kind of school. When fish travel in large groups together, it's called a school. Cool! I'd like to name them all. But there are so many, and we're running out of time. You're right, Ellie. The yellowtail fish are the next clue on our map. The treasure must be nearby now. Hey! Where's all that uh, yodeling coming from? <laughs> Let's go find out. Awesome! It's a yellow throat. You're right. A yellow throat is a songbird. What a beautiful voice you have. May I call you Yergi the yellow throat? Have you seen a treasure anywhere, Yergi? Do you know where we can find it? Hey, look behind all those yellow flowers. It's the treasure. You did it. Thank you, Yorgi. I wonder what's inside. <sighs> yellow peppers. Yay! My favorite vegetable, right after yams. Super yummy adventure! I say yay to that adventure! And those yellow peppers? Oh, yum! Did you catch all the things that start with the letter Y? Oh, great! Let's see if you can spot the other Y words found on Y Island. Who's this yappy, scrappy little pup? It be a Yorkshire Terrier. Yorkshire Terriers, also called Yorkies, are little dogs who can grow rather luxurious hair. You see that vegetable over there? It be a yam. Yams are root vegetables, whose name comes from the word naomi, meaning eat. I like to eat my yams in a yam chowder. Yum. Yo ho ho, it's yogurt. Yogurt is a milk product that can be enjoyed on its own or mixed with various fruits. Yar! Yacht off the port bow! A yacht is a recreational boat meant to catch the wind in its sails and zip quickly through the water. Though I'd like to see a yacht try to race me and my ship. Yikes! There be someone I've yet to see. It's a yeti. The yeti is a mythological creature. Yetis be ape-like and taller than humans. They live in the snowy mountains of the Himalayas. Folks have seen yeti footprints in the snow, but have yet to see the whole beast. You did it, shipmates. You found everything that starts with the letter Y. Yahoo! And I hope to see you on the next island we yearn to discover. Until then, let's yell goodbye as we sail off yonder. Ahoy there, shipmates. It's Captain Sea Salt here. Today, we're going to be exploring a new island and learning all about things that start with the letter Z. Keep a lookout for zebra, zinnias, zebrafish, Zebu and Zeppelin. 
Good thing we have a zest for adventure. Oh, oh, uh, time to start the show. All aboard! All these trips, and I haven't lost the old pirate razzmatazz. Land ho! <laughs> Ahoy, mateys! We've landed! Woof, woof. Where are we, Captain Sea Salt? Glad you asked, Maya. We've zeroed in on an exquisite new island. Amazing! Are we going to explore the island and search for treasure? Aye. And hopefully leave as zillionaires. <laughs> Zip on down, Pirate Ellie. Get Zooks. <laughs> I'll never get used to that. Now, everyone in the zone, ready for our exciting excursion? Aye, aye Captain. <laughs> Today we're going to explore Z Island. We're here on the map. If we follow all the clues on the map, They'll bring us to the treasure. The first thing we're looking for is something that starts with the letter Z. Hey, look over there. That's a zany looking animal. Who could it be, I wonder? That be a zebra, Pedro. Zebras are a member of the horse family. They have stripes on their backs, lines, not zigzags, you see? Yeah, and guess what? Zebra is the first clue on our map. I wonder if this zebra can help us find the treasure. Hello, zebra. May I call you Zeke the zebra? <laughs> Great, we've been zipping all over looking for a hidden treasure. Would you be able to help us with directions? This place is a maze. <laughs> Let's follow him. Zeke sure zipped over here fast. Aye, he squeezed right in there for a treat. Many thanks, Zeke. Hey, look at these flowers. What are they? They're called zinnias. Zinnias are very colorful flowers that grow in sunny places. Aye, they are super colorful. They really add pizzazz to my hat. <laughs> zinnias are the next clue on our map. I wonder where we go next. Hey guys, come see what we zeroed in on. What is it, Sammy? Check out these fish. Do they remind you of anything? Um, they have stripes, just like a zebra. That's right, they're zebra fish. They're called that because of their stripes. How amazing. I'm gonna name them all. There's Zenda, Zeth, Zach, Zora, Zebert, Zeton. <laughs> Sammy, we still have a treasure to find. We can't name all these fish. Pedro, where do we go next? Hmm, I think it's this way, Ellie. Oops, excuse me. I didn't mean to bump into you, Ms. Uh... She's a zebu. Zebus are like cows, but they have humps on their backs. I wonder if this zebu can help us find the treasure. Good afternoon, Ms. Zebu. May I call you Zuzu the zebu? Have you seen a treasure nearby? <coughs> Let's see where she's leading us. Why did she freeze? That's why! It's the treasure! I wonder what's inside! Zoe! It's zucchini! Zucchini are delicious vegetables with a zesty taste! The zestiest! Ah, uh, what a zany adventure we be on! It's about to get zanier, Captain Sea Salt! Look! It's a zeppelin! Zeppelins can fly in the air! Is anyone thinking what I'm thinking? That depends. 
You thinking about a big plate of zucchini ziti? Yes, no zingers for ya! Just a hearty goodbye, friends! <laughs> what a zany adventure! And those zucchinis? Just the zestiest! <laughs> Did you catch all the things that start with the letter Z? Great! Let's see if you can spot the other Z words found on Z Island. Zowie! Hear that? That be a zither. A zither is a string instrument that is played on a flat surface, like a table, or on your lap. Zones! It's getting chilly out here. Time to zip up. A zipper is a fastener that lets you quickly connect two pieces of fabric, like the two sides of a jacket. By pulling the zipper slider, a series of small hook-like teeth will connect or separate. Have you ever wanted to meet all the animals we've come across on our island adventures? Well then, you could always visit a zoo. A zoo is a place where you can see animals from all around the world. Since every animal has different needs, zoos will do their best to recreate their habitats and provide the foods the animals are used to, to keep them in their comfort zones. Oh. There be a quiet place to sit down and enjoy nature. It's a Zen garden. A Zen garden is a miniature garden. The ground is covered in tiny pebbles uh, or sand that's raked to look like ripples in the water. You ever just look up at the sky at night? If you have, you may have seen the zodiac. The zodiac is made up of 13 constellations of stars seen in the night sky throughout the year. These constellations looked like different things to folks long ago, like a crab or a lion. You did it, shipmates! You zigzagged all over the island to find everything that starts with the letter Z. And you did it with such zest! Have yourself a day filled with zeal!